Welcome to Dr. Quentin Richmond's daily television broadcast, Road to Eternal Life. Dr. Richmond would like to share his books, his music, and a daily message with your heart. Join him on his journey on the road to eternal life. Glad you have joined me today. Jesus loves you. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noiseless pestilence. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror that flies by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. The Lord bless you as you listen to Eternal Life Ministry today. Thank you. of Christ makes souls white as snow all sin stained souls on earth he makes free and I know that Christ alone died for me I need thee oh Lord I need thee every hour of every day oh I need thee. Hear my prayer, O oh Lord, to do thy will. May I listen for your voice and be still. All sin stained souls on earth he makes free. And I know Christ alone died for me.
are not saved, there's no hope beyond the stars. The veil untaken away will be your bars. Your unransomed soul will not prevail to go to heaven you will surely fail oh why oh why not today oh why oh why not be saved Your sinful soul will surely die If God's grace you don't apply Oh, why, oh, why not today? calling you his way to be saved oh today when the Savior calls for you Save today. There'll come a time your soul will dread the resurrection of the dead. Oh, why? Oh, why? surely die if God's grace you don't apply oh why oh why not today oh why oh why not be saved Calling you his way to be saved, oh, today. The glory of heaven is yours today so why not come be saved today his love for you is pleading now to be saved for all knees must bow why, oh, why not today? Oh, why, oh, why not be saved? Your sinful soul will surely die if God's grace 
of salvation you truly gave the moon and stars you made for night the sun with power to give earth its light it's all about you Jesus it's all about you 
It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. My title of the message today is Training for Heaven. We all need to train for heaven. And you will believe it when we, re when we get through with this, this session. Because in Romans 7, 10, 19, and 24, And the commandment which was deemed to life, I found to be unto death. For the good that I would do, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? The Apostle Paul declared good things he desired to do, but doesn't do them, because his unconverted human nature interfered with his inner being, carnal soul, and his carnal mind overcame him with evil doings which was constantly present, and the commandment which was ordained for life was found to be unto death. This was the lack of power to do good things, which he desired to do. You can get this power from Jesus Christ. Then finding the love and power of Jesus Christ, who converted his soul and made him a new creature and a new man in Jesus Christ, which powered him to do good things instead of evil. In training for heaven, I find the empty tomb of Jesus changed everything. When God the Heavenly Father raised Jesus from the dead, then through our soul's conversion, we spiritually inherited eternal life. This was the gospel of good news, that God had restored our life that was lost in the Garden of Eden. Our soul's conversion now means someday we shall eat of the tree of the life in heaven's paradise. Now that Jesus is alive, we are sanctified through the offering of his body, Jesus Christ, and our sins and iniquities will be remembered no more. Hebrews 8 and 6, But now has he obtained a more excellent ministry, but how much more he is a mediator of a better covenant, which was established on better promises. Now that we have Jesus, who is a mediator of a better covenant, which is established on better promises, we have no excuse not to train for the next world in living a consecrated life of hope, peace, and joy, and serving Jesus. The Apostle Paul made it plain that the glorious help of Jesus, his ability to do good instead of evil, was made manifest with the overcoming power given to him by Jesus Christ. And God's commandment, which was ordained to life, Apostle Paul found to be unto death, and Paul cried out, For sin, take an occasion, by commandment deceived him, and, and by sin slew him. But God, when he was converted, he no longer battled with such a thing. He was set free to do that which he wanted to do, and to live the life he wanted to live. And so remember this, seek Jesus. He will make it right for you. Romans 8 and 3. For that the law could not do, in that it was weak in the flesh. God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Then Paul cried out, O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ. Therefore there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. 
This is a training virtue open to all who will repent and believe. Uh, the Apostle James in his epistle declared to let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath, and to receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save the soul. This is the training virtue to prepare us for heaven. James 1, 21, 24 tells us that. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, but ye but be ye believers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. The empty tomb of the risen Jesus Christ gives you a new soul. God's purpose is to convert your present carnal soul into a spiritual soul. His purpose is to take out of your soul the sins of hate, envy, strife, oppression, lying, and stealing. He wants to replace an evil attitude with an attitude of love and caring and the wellness of others and to give the desire to help those in need. Now Jesus wants you and I to be good Samaritans as is given in Luke's gospel. He has said that a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and he fell among thieves which stripped him of clothing and lift him, left him half dead. In Luke 10, 31, 3, And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed on the other side. And likewise a Levite looking on him and passed on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he, the man was, and when he saw him, what happened? He had compassion on him and bound up his wounds and brought him to the inn. And he paid the in host to take care of him. I think that represents what Jesus would like for us to be like. To train for heaven, Jesus wants us to be a good Samaritan. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall seek God. There is need to care for others, especially then when things are going bad for your fellow man. There is a saying which many times is mostly true. In some cases, when they ask you how you are, half don't really care, and the other half are glad you're sick. That's terrible. This is not the way to train for heaven. The most valuable feature concerning your life on earth is our training for the next world. In our present world, we are of all men the most miserable. Therefore, all humankind on earth need to train, train to, get a, to go to a better world. God made our present earth with magnificent splendor, with beautiful flowers, fruit trees, rivers, seas, and oceans. However, humankind corrupted it, so God in His infinite wisdom is giving us a training of love to get to heaven. Psalms 8, 3 and 4, When I consider the heavens, the works of the, my fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him? It is God's great love which provides training for heaven, as in Job 4, 19, How much less in them that dwell in houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust and lost. We need to pray for God's love, here are good reasons why we should earnestly seek to train for heaven. We might feel the pain of being separated from our loved ones, but Jesus felt the element pain when he paid the price of love to die, on, to die on the cross. God fulfilled Isaiah's prophecy 700 years after he prophesied. He bore the sins of many, it's in Isaiah 53. A soldier pierced his side for our transgressions, and by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5. Jesus received abuse from the Jews and the Pharisees, the crowds and the Roman soldiers, and through love, Jesus poured out his life unto death. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. 
Now consider how great gain it is to train for heaven. Find in 2 Corinthians 4.17, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. In Romans 8.18, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And also in the Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 5, 1, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. John three sixteen, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus will speak to your heart in training for heaven. Jesus loves you. Seek him now while, he, while you can. Tomorrow could be too late. You don't want to miss or you don't want to lay aside your training for heaven the way that will get you there. There is some training you need to do and I need to do, and the world needs to do. But Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, is here to help you and solve everything that needs to be solved. Let Jesus fix it for you. Someday we'll meet on heaven's golden shore There we'll be happy and glad forevermore All our problems and griefs then shall end And we'll meet Jesus and our loved ones then We'll shout and sing forever there Sorrow and pain we'll never bear Only joy in heaven's glory land around God's throne with Jesus we shall stand someday we'll meet on heaven's golden shore there we'll be happy and glad forevermore All our problems and griefs then shall end And we'll meet Jesus and our loved ones then I'll live in a mansion Jesus made for me Wear a crown of righteousness For all to see I'll stroll over heaven In the city of pure gold In heaven's tabernacle God dwells with us I'm told Someday we'll meet On heaven's golden shore There 